Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my simple clock. Now, I've been looking around online and I've been looking up different like hopper timers and things like that. And the first channel that led me to hopper time, well, not hopper timers per se, but the actual amount of blocks that have to go inside a hopper to get the certain amount of time you want for a clock. Now, the first channel that, I, that led me to was uh, Ethos channel, which he had an amazing, amazing like mathematical thing for it. It's uh, like, I don't know, it's like three ticks uh minus 0 0.7 apparently each item is 0 0.7 seconds for your hopper timer and so you do like let's say you want 30 seconds or 60 seconds you do that then you got to minus it by the 0 0.7 seconds and then times it by 0 0.7 that's how you get your equation or whatever but i i did that and i looked at a bunch of things and i found that roughly i'd say roughly about 75 items is like 59 seconds or something like that 59.5 it's something weird like that so i went with so for my hopper timer what i did was 73 items and then i used a four tick delay repeater to turn on and off the sticky piston which pushes the hopper timer back and forth so if you want to see more about like you know hopper timers and all that i'll have a link to ethos video in the description below which goes over all that stuff because people have been asking me to make a clock for a very long time and of course i want to make a simple clock so anyone can build it and they'll have a clock in their world obviously if you sleep off the clock then you're gonna have to reset your clock every time you use your bed but that's what that little button right here in the middle is for that is for resetting the clock now it doesn't reset completely what it does is it cycles through each individual light now there's 20 lights here there is 20 minutes there's 10 minutes for the day and there's 10 minutes for the night so in my mind i went with you know 20 lights there's 20 individual lights around the entire clock so it's going to go through entire every single light until it go you know goes through the day and goes through the night so that's what my idea was for this clock so if we go back here here's the redstone fort as you can see it's not that bad there's nothing really to it i used this as my memory array what i did was i used a glass well you don't even have to use glass but i used a glass circle and then one <laughs> and then one of the blocks is a cauldron with water in it now i took out two things of water so it's only given these comparators a one pulse now the reason why i decided to do that because it made uh made this bottom area a lot easier to compact that's the only reason why i use this kind of memory array and it works pretty good i like it a lot and then here down here is my hopper timer i have 75 items inside of it and then i also have a four tick delay right over here that will pulse and it will extend this sticky piston right here and it gives roughly off a minute i'd say it gives it's it, we, it's weird i think it's like a minute 0.7 seconds and then sometimes when i because i used the stopwatch I, I downloaded the stopwatch on my phone just to do this and it roughly gives like a minute at 0.7 and then sometimes it's like a minute point three. Honestly, it has to have a direct amount of time going to it. And you know, it's just hard to like, you know, click the lever down and then hit the stopwatch at the same time to get that perfect thing. But I think it's around like a minute point seven seconds. So obviously if you let this thing run for like a bunch of days, over time you know it's gonna lag behind a little bit it's gonna go behind but i've been letting this thing run now for about three hours i have literally let this go through day and night at least 10 times now and it seems to be pretty on the ball still i mean it, it looks like it's lagging a little bit behind but it seems pretty on the ball and obviously if you go to sleep you're going to have to restart your whole entire clock anyway now i'm not sure if i want to do a tutorial on because like i said it's just so random like over time, it's just going to end up, you know, not being on the right track, but it's a very easy clock to build. I mean, I can easily show you guys how to build this thing. There's nothing to it. It looks like a lot, but trust me, this thing is very, very easy. This looks crazy up here, but it's the same. It's the same. All these are on the same on both sides. They both look exactly identical because they're exactly the same on both sides. I think it actually looks pretty cool back here. <laughs> kind of looks like a setting sun kind of deal. <laughs> But it's very, very easy to build, guys. There's really nothing to it. So if you want a tutorial on this clock, and I haven't really done one of these in a while where I go, oh, do you want to? I usually just do the tutorial, but I don't want to build this whole entire thing just for people to be like, oh, it goes off on time. I know it's going to do it because I can't get that exact amount of time on it. I just can't. It's it's like physically impossible. <laughs> I was looking up like a bunch of different timers, and they always seem to be off by like 0.7 seconds or like 0.2 seconds. It doesn't matter over time it's eventually not going to be linked up the way you want it to but that's why i added this nice little button right here in the middle to reset all that so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go right back over here 
and we're just gonna let the clock run for a bit well i'll let it run for i guess the 20 minutes and then i'll just uh speed it up so you don't have to sit here all day watching it go for 20 minutes <laughs> all right guys so i'm just gonna end the video here and like i said if you want to watch the whole little speed up area you can watch it but if you want to leave now you know if you like this video leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace